I am very excited to do this panel right now because this is one of my favorite panels of all time. This is the Forever Red panel, y'all. Now, in front of me, you see amazing Red Rangers from all their perspective television shows. They're about to come up here and have an amazing time with me. Before they do, there is an announcement that we had to make, of course, so you guys know the ground rules. A part of me being the best moderator is because I want to get to as many of you guys' questions as possible. And the only way we can do that is if you have your question ready and you have your question for your specific ranger. Don't ask a question that everybody has to answer because that is not fair to the people behind you. Make sense? All right. Number two. This crowd is an incredible fan base because we all love the Power Rangers. So when anybody comes up to that microphone and says their name and where they're from, I want everybody to erupt because that's what you will want if you're on a microphone. Cool? Let's do a practice run. Let's say it's me. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Clayton. I'm from Detroit. I love it. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, all of my legendary Red Rangers come to the stage right now. Everybody make noise for my Reds! The amazing... Wherever you want. Wherever you want. Wherever you want. You don't know you Right here? You sit right there. Selwyn Ward, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Uh, you. Be careful of those last couple of microphones. They're not, you know, uh, sell when you and Christopher are going to have to share the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, I would like to start a line at those microphones for everybody who has questions for the Rangers. Get up there. I want to get to as many people as possible. Hello. Now, since we're up here, I would like to start this off. First of all, Brendan, how are you? I am well. How are you? It's good. Uh, I would like to tell everybody, Brendan, Brendan might seem like a very nice guy, but I want to tell you not. what happened. Something happened about two hours ago where a fan was in line and they challenged Brennan to a push-up contest. <laughs> in line. And let me tell you what happens, guys. You know, as Power Rangers, the Power Rangers are always supposed to let their fans win. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Who made that rule up? <laughs> the fan got down and did 15 push-ups and Brennan did 2,000. And that <laughs> is disrespectful. You are a villain now, Brennan. <laughs> You're heartless. I had no idea. Try that one. He doesn't love you. Here, how about that one? I'm sorry that uh, I let everyone down by doing too many push-ups. So <laughs> I'll try to earn your respect back. The uh, disrespect. Forgive me. The disrespect. He's physically perfect. He's apologizing for his form. How you doing? What is your name? Where are you from? Hi. Hi, my name's Amanda. I'm from Rhode Island. Thank you. Actually, my question is for Andrew. Wait, wait, you know what? I'm so sorry, and I want you to hold that because what I did was wrong. I, there are so many Rear Rangers, I refused to say everybody's name. Do me a favor, start with my man Dan Southworth. Would you mind coming down this way, everybody telling me your name and your season, please, for the people who do not know. Uh, okay, I'm Dan Southworth, and I'm the Quantum Ranger from Power Rangers Time Force. I'm Jason Font, and I play the role. Thank you, thank you. I owe her five bucks. <laughs> My job. Jason Font, uh, Red Ranger, Power Rangers, Time Force as well. Brandon J. McLaren, SPD Red. I'm Sean C.W. Johnson, and Red Lightspeed, Power Ranger. G'day guys, uh, I'm Adam Tuminen and I'm from Ninja Storm and I'm the Crimson Thunder Ranger. How you guys doing? My name is Andrew Gray and I was a part of Mega Force and Super Mega Force. Yeah. Hello everybody, this is Selwyn Ward, first, first black leader of the Power Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. TJ Turbo. Okay, yes. <laughs> well done, everybody, yes. Uh, my name is Christopher Kamen Lee. I was Red Ranger Andros on the best season ever, Power Rangers in Space, right? 
Hello. All right. Uh, hey, I'm Brennan Mejia, and I was the Red Ranger in Power Rangers Dino Charge. <laughs> Wild. Hi, I wasn't a Power Ranger at all. Uh, my name is Stephen Ford. I was Common Rider Dragon Knight. There you go. Thank you for dream. Uh, we lent him a helmet because he didn't have one yet. So you know, there you go. Nice. So now back to your amazing question. Go right ahead. Hi, my name's Amanda. I'm from Rhode Island. Rhode Island! <laughs> and my question is actually for Andrew. And we know that Troy had a creep pox as his arch nemesis for a couple of seasons. But there's also one like nemesis that he really hates most of all that's shown in an episode. It's, and we don't hear much about it. What's up with him in plastic bottles? <laughs> You know, he's just a big fan of the ocean and the world, and uh, he knows that we could do better. And that's why I love you. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda. Oh, we got the baby. Somebody help the baby with the microphone. You see him struggling. Help the baby. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Where you from, man? Um, my name is Kai, and I'm from California. And my California? Yeah. Oakland, California. And my question is for the Dino Charge Red Ranger. What's your favorite color, and what's your age? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Brennan Mejia, and I'm over 18. Um, <laughs> That's how we do auditions when you're over 18. Uh, yeah, I'm ageless. And uh, my favorite color is blue. <laughs> it's true, I'm sorry. All right, you know what? You know what, I love red, but I'm not gonna lie. I mean, do you want me to be honest? I'm trying to earn your trust back, remember? So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So it's blue, let's talk. Yes. Thank you so much for that question, buddy. Uh, I will tell you guys, because I actually happen to know the truth, Brennan is 115 years old, okay. <laughs> Uh, give, me a, give me a sec. The stand is not being. Hey, I um, missed anyway, all of that. Anyway, Let's, uh, so, what is your name? Where are you from, uh, buddy? Hi, I'm Devin. Uh, I'm a local here from California, San Diego. Anyone? San Diego. And uh, yeah, you guys, you, you guys are awesome. You're the, you're the best of the best. And my question is for both <clears throat> Eric and Brennan. Considering they both have dino-themed guns and um, dino-themed, uh, well, zords. Um, you talking about the Quantum Ranger, <laughs> Quantum Megazord? Is that what you're talking about? Um, would you guys, would you two, um, between the two of you, who's the Do better a marksman? Contest? <laughs> no, 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 no. Who's the better marksman? I'm gonna give that to Dan. I mean, man. I mean, Dan, like, I don't know. Time Force. I love Time Force. Well, I mean, I mean, there's all kinds of things you could be a marksman at. We could be a marksman at spitting. That's true. If it's a marksman at handstands, if that's Throwing. even a thing, I'll take that. Empty bottles into a guy. What, 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 what would be the, uh, the event in particular that you're asking? Um, well, considering you, well, you, you're both of you rangers, you use guns, so hello. Like shoot it, like at a shooting range? Or I don't just, know. I mean, maybe we I'm, could do I'm like a, a challenge sometime. You know, I'm pretty good with a duel. Man gun. Yeah, six paces, turn around, see what happens. You know. Brennan's <laughs> gonna be dead. I Hasbro does up. not condone nor support these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nerf these guns, challenges. people. Come on. So I'm pretty, pretty good pretty with a Nerf gun. Blast, I, I, I bet you are. I mean, again, like I like Time Force, so I'm actually just gonna run away because I think I'd lose. But uh, <laughs> we have we have somebody else that wants in on the competition here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carter's pretty good with a blaster, so. Fair enough. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for your question, buddy. Sean, I have a question for you right now, brother. Sean, what does the CW stand for? Been wondering this for 15 years. <laughs> what would you like it to stand for? Actually, what would so you like I. it to stand for? <laughs> uh, uh, it's my middle name, Charles Wesley. Charles Wesley? Hey. Nice. Sean Charles Wesley Johnson. Appreciate that. It, it's Charles. not quiz or qua or quiz <laughs> qua. Oh. What's up, Megaforce? What's your name? Where are you from? What's up? Uh, my name is Ben. I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina! Uh, Want to thank you guys for coming out. And my question is for Andrew. Uh, you got to be part of a special season, and I heard you guys had access to all all the props from different seasons. So my question is, were you able to, you know, borrow some stuff? 
We definitely were not allowed to borrow anything, so I stole a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan, man. Right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great question, man. Keep it on the DL, all right? How you doing, buddy? What's your name? Where you from? Hello, my name is Peter. I am from Chino, California. Chino! Wait, hold on. Listen. I don't think y'all gave Chino enough love. No. <laughs> Chino! Chino! Okay, so my question is to the, for the Lightspeed Rescue. So for... So when you were a fireman for the Lightspeed Rescue, do you, do you want, really want to save lives? I missed the... When you were fighting for Lightspeed Rescue, did you really want to save lives? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a fireman. Yeah, I mean, it kind of goes without saying. Being a, being a Power Ranger, you definitely want to try to save as many lives as possible, unless those lives happen to be demons or battlings or other strange beings from the netherworlds. <laughs> Thank you. Then. Solid. Thank you, man. We got the Green Ranger in the house. How are you, buddy? What's your name? Um, I'm Daniel. I'm from Orange, California. Now, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my question is to Selwa Ward, the first black leader of the Power Rangers. <laughs> um, so, um, Selwyn, how did it feel to um, repl um, replace Tommy Oliver as the black, oh wait, as the, <laughs> wait, sorry, as the, as the Red Ranger? Don't drop that mic. No, um, I I've answered this a few times, but definitely big shoes to fill, and the main point is I took that role and I really just tried to make it my own and not be somebody I'm not, and evidently it seems like it may have been okay with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Hell, I, well, now, well, uh, my, my question is for Brennan. Hi. Uh, now, now, um, among, among the, di among, we've had three, so far we've had three dinosaur themed Red Rangers, and since you're the only one here, um, I'm gonna have to lay this question on well, out of those three, you're the only one. How did it? My question is, what was it like to that when your character time traveled to the actual age of the dinosaurs? You saw real dinosaurs right before your very eyes. Right before my very eyes. It's true. I did in fact time travel back to the Jurassic era. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's cool. Like. I know some people are like, what's up with the time travel in like the last episode? We're just gonna like add this. Well, I think it's cool because it opens up basically what Shattered Grid has already showed. Like there's alternate dimen dimensions and whatnot. And uh, you know, Time Force, again, I like that season. I don't know. So like I get to time travel too. So I think it's kind of cool. So like, you know, maybe they need backup sometime and like we could time travel to them or something. So yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> hey. Hey, Dan and Jason, man, this is like the fifth reference Brendan has said how much he loves Time Force. I feel like y'all need to welcome him into y'all team, man. <laughs> <laughs> Honorary. Okay, well, like, I did a lot of like, okay, so I watched Mighty Morphin growing up like through like Lost Galaxy for the most part. And then after I booked Dino Charge, I went back and watched a bunch of old seasons again. And so Yoshi's like, you gotta watch Time Force. You gotta watch Time Force. So I was like, okay, Yoshi, I will. And then I did. I was like, okay, Yoshi, I like it. He's like, I know. So that's kind of... <laughs> Solid. Said, How you doing, he said, buddy? He said old seasons. He looked at some old. Well, okay, like <laughs> old's not bad, you know. Vintage, you know, it gains value. So there you go. You know, antiques roadshow. <laughs> he said vintage. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Richie from New York. New York. <laughs> East Coast. Uh, so yeah, I I love Power Rangers. Yeah. Right. But. I think one of the greatest seasons, SPD. Time Force. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> SPD. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no, so it's SPD. Not time yet. It's not got a time question yet. For, uh, for you. What do you think was like, the, the, the standout difference from your season compared to the other, other seasons? Who's this for? Uh, Brandon. SPD. Brandon. Oh. Brandon. Um, oh, well, I think you know, our, our two guys, Bruce and, uh, and Greg, came in, and they were brand new to the show. So I think they definitely wanted to come in and sort of make their mark. 
um, on, 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 the, on the show going forward. So I think that's, we had an advantage, you know, we had fresh blood in and, and uh, just kind of a, a new spirit that kind of entered the, the franchise. And I don't know how long Bruce did it for, another five or six years, um, but I think that was, you know, the best part of SBD, just sort of the, the new energy. Solid. Great question, man. You know what's crazy? Speaking of favorite seasons, after Space for me, because I went all the way from Mighty Morphin all the way to Space and loved every bit, and I took a break for a second, I came back in with Lightspeed Rescue, and it was my favorite season. <laughs> Because for me at the time, it was, first of all, adults. Like it was adult Power Rangers. It was like, no more teenagers, these are people with jobs. <laughs> these are people who have careers and after they finish saving the world, they are going back to punch a clock. Like I like that. <laughs> so I love, so for me, and this is a big fan moment because everybody up here, with the exception of Brendan, who I got a chance to meet today, I've met every one of these guys, formed a relationship, but Sean, I was like starstruck when I met him, like, hey man, He's like, yeah, you moderating, right? And I was like, you, you, you the Red Ranger. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm the Red Ranger, buddy. I'm like, and I had to, <laughs> I had to tell him like, hey man, I'm not special. I'm just, I'm just happy to see you. Is what I'm saying. He's like, oh, sure, you're not special. I'm like, no, no, no. I meant like, man, you the Red Ranger. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of my favorite seasons as well as uh, Megaforce because I had to catch up on Megaforce to see my buddy Andrew because I got a chance to see the Legacy War, Le uh, Legendary War. I was like, man, this is about to be amazing. The show of 30,000 Power Rangers. That has never been done. I love it. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry for taking up your time, ma'am. What is your name? <laughs> and what is your question? Oh no, you, you can keep going. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Helena from Northern Virginia. Virginia! So my question is for Time Force. So in Time Force, we got to see Jen kind of lead the team a little bit. She was definitely a very big, like, female figurehead for the team. I was wondering, in the future, how would you guys feel about, like, a first real female Red Ranger leading a team, and what would you have to say to, like, anyone in the room who might be? Yeah. Well, Dan? Uh, <laughs> are you asking how we feel about the, the subsequent series where they actually had the Pink Ranger as the Red Ranger? Because that did happen. The, that did, yeah. the female Red Ranger, is that what you're asking about? Um, like, if in the future, if they ever do have a female Red Ranger, how would you guys feel or like any advice you would give as like legacy Rangers? I, I don't. Did they do I that don't. Samurai? Yeah, I thought Samurai had a uh, Red Ranger for a bit. Yeah. yeah. But I think it'd be awesome. To answer your question, I have, I have two little girls, so whenever I see something like that, I, I think it's very cool uh, to see women empowered, and especially something like that. I, I think Samurai did do it, but uh, I think that'd be awesome, and I, and I think things like that are, I, are great for having little girls. You can have them look up to it. Yeah, and I think that my answer to, for you is a lot simpler than you might think. I think that a hero is a hero is a hero. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female. I, I don't have any extra advice I could give to a female hero if she's a hero. She would just be a hero who's also a female. Nice, great question. I got a question for Ninja Storm right now. Now, this is now. First of all, for you coming in as one of the Thunder Rangers, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so now, speaking with Christopher, years he's always said that they, he kept they kept them separate, the main team uh, separate from Andros's character, so they can build up that storyline. Was it similar for you guys coming in later in the season and having the storylines that you had to not be as close to the actual actors as filming was going on? Well, yeah, actually, yeah, it did happen, because when we first started, um, Jorge and I had three weeks off, so we had a, a three-week holiday when we first got there, and uh, that gave us the opportunity to get to know each other, um, going out, having fun, catching up, and uh, I think that sort of translated onto the, onto the screen with the whole brotherly relationship that we had, so, you know, it was... Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Cardenas! Hey! I heard there was a panel for Red Ranger. I was like, man, I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? I was the Blue Ranger too, but you know, Red Ranger first, I guess. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Solid. Sorry. Thank guys. you so much for that answer as well. How you doing, buddy? What is your name? What is your question? My name's Daniel Edelbrock. I'm from Prescott, Arizona. My question. Arizona! <laughs> My question is for Daniel Southworth. Was it difficult being playing a bad guy and then going to a good guy? 
No, it was difficult being a good guy after loving being such a bad guy. <laughs> Solid, thank you, man. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Somebody help the babies with the microphone? Y'all see them struggling. <laughs> Just gonna stand by there. Um, my name is Arthur, I'm from Connecticut. Connecticut! Uh, this question is for Andrew. It's been bugging me for a long time. I wanna know the canon explanation on why there are Sentai in the legendary battle. <laughs> Whoa. Well, let me ask you, did you like the Sentai or not like the Sentai? It just doesn't make sense. See, that's ex- <laughs> That's exactly what I kept saying. <laughs> and you know what? They didn't believe me. I don't know. Next on your Red side. Power Ranger right there. Next Red Power Ranger right there. He figured it out. I, you know, when it comes to Power Rangers, you have to fight just like we had to do as a team to get what we wanted. And you win some battles and you lose some battles, which is life, you know? But teamwork makes a dream work, and we did the best we could. So... Um, if, I'm happy that you voice that. And I ask you guys if you guys have any issues to voice it to the people who create the shows, who write the shows. Because you guys can go out there and create your own content, make your fan videos, make your YouTube fan you videos know, cool. subscriptions, etc. And make it possible to have everything you've ever wanted into this show. You guys are the fans and you guys are making it all possible for us to be here. Does that make sense? Cool. Thank you. Thanks for your question, man. Uh, <laughs> He seems so stressed out to be so young. <laughs> this just doesn't make sense. It's been bothering me for 10 years, sir. You're 11. I don't care. <laughs> He's waking up in the middle of the episode. Like, oh, well. I, He's I think, watching the episode smoking a cigarette. <laughs> oh, these Power Rangers, I swear to God, man. There, there are these things called, there, there are these people who have these positions and they're called producers. Yeah. And that, that's the answer to all, all things that don't make sense that are nonsensical <laughs> sensical in, in the world of film and television. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> How are you, buddy? I'm good. Uh, my name is Jonathan, and I'm from Illinois. Illinois! <laughs> and um, my question is for you, uh, Jason. And I saw you on the hashtag show. If anyone knows what that is. Yeah. 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 Um, my question is for you is, if you actually saw the interview with um, the In Space Ranger and he said and looked at your picture when you're in your suit, who is this, a four-year-old or something? How do you feel about that? Wait, what? <laughs> Was that Chris? <laughs> I'm sure I did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, that sounds like Andros, man. Yeah, for that sure. does sound like Andros. Well, if you know Andros, you know why he said that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, just real quick, everyone. Makoto, will you raise your hand, please? Makoto, raise your hand. This right here, this yes. gentleman right here, is one of the Japanese stuntmen that makes the Power Rangers look so good. He's the reason you guys love what this, what this show is. By the way, Aki Hirohaga also played uh, Sledge, and he was my double, and Yoshi's double. And what, you started on Dino Thunder, was it? Yeah, so he's been with it for like 10 years, and now he's on to, to Marvel shows in uh, New York. So he is the guy to be. Nice. Did I, did I say his name? It's Akihiro. It's not Makoto. Why do I keep calling him Makoto? That's Aki. Uh, Aki, I'm sorry. Aki Isn't Aki red in Japanese? Like the word? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so you, like, he was meant to double red, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? What's your name? I'm good. Um, I'm Sean. I'm from Long Beach, California. Long Beach? <laughs> and my question is for... Um, Anyone who uh, wants to answer. Nah, man. <laughs> you got to choose. <laughs> what, what's the process of becoming a Power Ranger? Like, what, what, what did you guys have to go through? Who, who are you asking? specifically do you want to well, answer that? <laughs> um, I'll go with the most recent who's up there, which is uh, Brennan. 
What, what was the process like for you? I just saw like every head like a wave, like wait. <laughs> um, the process for me, well, was first to audition for Samurai and get rejected, and then uh, come back and try again. So, you know, they basically want to prove that you like it, I guess. So actually a friend of mine told me about the audition and he's like, hey, you're an acrobat. I told him that they should see you. I was like, they didn't like me last time. He's like, no, go. So I said, okay. And then uh, I went in for five auditions. Literally, we had to run in the parking lot to see if we ran heroically. That was part of our audition. Um, we had to do chemistry reads. So like I read individually with like Michael Tabor to see our chemistry. Then I read in like a group with like Yoshi and Camille and then like random other people that I don't remember, unfortunately, because there's like a lot of people on like 10 hour day. And uh, then it was like two months of waiting. And then they called us back in. They're like, we have one more audition. I was like, really? You saw me four times for this already. Hmm. And like, no, you really have to come. And so I drove in and uh, they're like, here's a cold read. So they gave me a script and they're like, you can't walk out and study it. You have to do it right now. I was like, are you serious? Like, like yeah. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to get this. Um, so I started reading it and in it, it was like, here's a, um, you know, here's a treasure chest. Like it will reveal your destiny. And their mentor, the mentor in the script gave it to me. And so they actually handed me a chest and I opened it and it was a laminated picture saying, congratulations, you're the Red Ranger. Oh, wow. So they set me up, but uh, yeah, I mean, you have to do like martial arts and things in the auditions too. So some kind of physicality helps for sure, but the acting, and then a lot of it's just out of your control. It's like they're putting together a puzzle and you fit in some puzzle, but you may not fit in the puzzle that they don't even know what they're trying to make yet until they see it. So. Can't take it personally. I love it. You know what? I actually Hold up. Want wait, you wait, wait. I just want to piggyback off that real quick. I've known Brennan for a really, really, really long time. And honestly, it was his dream. I'm not kidding. As a kid to become a Power Ranger. So when this happened for him, honestly, as his buddy that had been seeing him struggle in acting for a long time, as we're all actors here. Like, it's, it's, it's really easy to struggle in this industry. But to see, like, your dream come true and this guy made it happen, that's what's incredible. And so that's what it means to be a power Super ranger. Dope. Thank you, Steven. That's very nice. Yeah. Right, right. You know? Huh? Photo op. Photo op? Oh, uh, oh, Andrew. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Andrew has to go do this photo op real quick. Give it up for Mr. Andrew Thank Gray. Thank you so everyone for coming out, for supporting all the Red Rangers and myself. In my absence, I'm just going to leave this here. So just take a look, and I'll be back shortly. Yeah. I have a question, um, Clayton. Mm -hmm. So, like, I also have a photo op in my suit at 550, which is in eight minutes. Yeah. So should I go to that, or should I stay here? You know what? I'm going <laughs> to alert. Actually, I'm going to have someone in the crowd tell me when you got two minutes, and then you can dip out. Two minutes? All right. That's yeah. a really fast change. So What um, I want you to do Aki, is... Aki, can you double me for the photo op? Aki, oh, that'd be dope. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that Brennan actually also auditioned for uh, MMPR because I told y'all he's 115. <laughs> I forgot. My memory's so bad these days. That joke would have worked before he told his sentimental story. I swear to God. <laughs> how, you, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? What's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Tyron Cotlin. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Hey. You? Yeah. San Antonio! Oh. My question is for Brandon. Do you ever think you might do a Forever Red Part 2? Wait, was this for me? Yes. Oh. Yes, you. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Chris and I have this conversation a lot because we've done panels together a couple times. So our story was for me to be in Forever Red 2, Tyler went and got all the, you know, the Energems from Keeper, went back in time, recruited himself 12 times to make a team of Forever Red because no one invited him last time. And then uh, he fights Andros, who said he became a Sith Lord. So we're fighting him, I guess. So, <laughs> so yeah, and that's canon. Like, ask Hasbro. So. This is copywritten. Nobody is taking that idea. This is copywritten. I don't know, working on this, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much for your question, buddy. How are you? What's your name? Where are you from? My name's Chris, and I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. Woo. And this is kind of a two-part question, because I came in late, and I noticed we had a common writer at the end. Woo. So um, my question for the Red Rangers is, when you got the role, did you feel any pressure because you were the Red Ranger, and for um, <laughs> Kamen Rider Dragonite, um, Steven. Steven, I blanked, I don't know why. That's all right. Uh, for Steven, when you got the role, were you aware of Kamen Rider before um, you got the role, or did you learn about it after you got the role? I'm gonna go straight to Steven with that one, because I can't let everybody answer that time-wise. Steven, go ahead. Uh, I had no idea. Uh, I actually did this, uh, oh, somebody's unhappy. 
Uh, I actually, uh, I, I, the, the way that it happened, they had actually filmed a pilot without me where they, they had somebody else that was playing Kit Taylor that was playing uh, Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. It didn't work out with him, and I came in, and the Wang brothers, they, they, they didn't really impress upon me how important it was like at all or anything like that. And it, it wasn't like Power Rangers. Like, of course I loved Power Rangers growing up. I... I, I think I was like for three Halloweens I was like the the Rangers with like the ninja outfit it was amazing but I had no idea what Common Rider was and I tried to like Google it back in like 2008 and really I didn't find much information at all uh, at least in you know English websites so I got the part though not really knowing what I had gotten myself into and then this Wayne Brothers they were like no seriously you have to do a lot of research and I was like okay I'm into it and the only way I could find the information was like in in like these shady websites that like I don't I think I'm sure I got a virus on my computer at some point but I, I did my best I would try to watch as much as I could and yeah it was it was crazy it was cool solid great question man thank you very much guys thank you brother also real quick I want to give a huge shout out to somebody that I love watching their content they have really changed the game as far as the internet they're also one of the nicest people in the business that is Andre Mr. Black Nerd himself in the building yeah yeah love that guy man yes also i had to grow my hair out so nobody confused me with him <laughs> what first black leader of the power rangers how you doing buddy what's your name what's your question i gotta bounce really quick though so i'm gonna go yeah. change into my suit and then if this is still going on then i'll run back in my suit and sit here hey so. come back in your suit I will if you guys are still going Come on. back in okay. the suit, man. All right, so peace out. Bring him here. Go ahead. What's your name, buddy? What's your question? Uh, hi, guys. I'm Alden. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Vegas. Y'all can do better than that, Las Vegas. Yeah. Uh, this is a question for Jason. Since you are both Wes and Alex, that means you are technically the Red Ranger twice in the same season. What was that like? Touche. Touche. <laughs> you know, it was, it was cool. It, the, uh, it was fun to go and play two different characters. Uh, and it was, it was more time consuming than I realized. But I had fun because they wanted two diametrically different people for the role. So um, it was fun to play that part. Uh, we had a blast doing it. And uh, yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. So thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thank you, man. Thanks. Great question. Um, do you remember when you were uh, Leon on Resident Evil? <laughs> <laughs> um, how was that? <laughs> I, I love Rocky. I love Rocky. <laughs> how are you, buddy? What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Vince from La Habra. Hey, I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> My question is for Sean. Um, what do you think is an important aspect for someone to, ha for someone to have uh, in order to wear the, have the honor of wearing red? What do I think the... Most important aspect that someone should, ha that something, uh, someone should have. Well, I'm going to piggyback off Dan's comment about heroes come in all shapes, sizes, colors, sexes, and I think just having that internal desire to, uh, to want to reach out, help others, and uh, be selfless, I think, is the... Probably the, the overriding salient factor that would go into a heroic uh, person in general and obviously a Red Ranger. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> Great question, buddy. <laughs> that's quite the vocabulary, Sean. I said that's quite the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Salient. I like that. <laughs> How are you, man? Go ahead. Hey, good. Uh, I'm from Minnesota. Minnesota! Yeah. <laughs> and my name is uh, David. My question is for uh, Selwyn. Uh, how did it feel for you going from a uh, Red Ranger to Blue Ranger, like when you weren't the leader of the team anymore? There we go. Uh, the, well, the way it was explained to me actually is that I was, I was still the leader of the Earth Rangers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's, but, but you know what? Uh, another thing is, you know, no matter what color you are, just being a Ranger is awesome. Yeah, mm. right. yeah that answers it. <laughs> Thank you. Probably the wrong panel to say that on, but yeah. Um, I don't believe that. Uh, question for Selwyn Ward. Question for Selwyn. You know, like, I, I would have to say that I know Walter was one of the first African-American superheroes, but how does it feel to be one of them? 
I would say that you were one of them, man. You know. <laughs> He said, yeah. "I would say that you are one of them." Well, he, which, he which I think he would. He was second. Was that the question? He was second. <laughs> well, Walter was first. He was, you know, and he was the red one, so that made him a better position than Walter did, was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, he, he had um, the better. He yeah, had the what's better. The, what's the question? <laughs> well, how does it feel to you know impact African American culture by being one of the. There you First African American okay. yeah. superheroes. Before okay, you answer that, listen, everybody, it's enough of us in here. I need this to spread because we are so many different nationalities in here. I want you to get on all your internet social media sites. We are not <coughs> African Americans. We are black. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. When you tell your friends we are black, you sound more racist calling us African American. <laughs> I'm not saying you, buddy. I'm just saying we are black. All right, I'm sorry. Go right ahead, so we'll work. First black lady, Power um, Rangers, after you. It's an interesting question. Um, I felt honored to be able to play that role, and, and I felt that it would be a good effect, you know, overall, to have someone of the color, you know, be a leader, uh, be in a hero position. Because uh, coming up, I didn't really have that, you know. But it, it's funny, as kids... At sometimes you don't really notice that necessarily. I mean, my hero was Popeye coming up, which is very interesting. But, um, but it's just funny because I, I didn't really get the uh, attention I thought I would when it happened. You know, it, there was no announcement. Hey, we got this, this black man that's actually a hero, you know, on a television show. So it, it never really happened like that. So I just think it's interesting that it really took Mr. Black nerd comedy over there to come up with a jingle yeah. for stick. So, you know, I actually give a, a lot of props to Andre. I mean, we kind of talked about it and put it together, but I give a lot of props to, to Andre for even kind of having that as a part of my shield, uh, of, of, uh, as a part of my uh, position on the Power Rangers, because I have a feeling if it wasn't for that, you know, I could have kind of got forgotten a little bit. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be so big. So, you know, I just want to take a moment to just say thank you, Andre. You know? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. On top of that, more props to Andre, because if he would not have come up with that song, we would not have known how to pronounce your name. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is it selling? Is it set? What is it? I see the C. I see the L. It's a W. So I appreciate you, Andre, for doing your, doing your homework. How you doing, buddy? What's your name? What's your question? My name is Kevin from um, Toronto, Canada. Toronto! Yeah, Toronto. Um, I have a question. One Canadian to another, Brandon J. Um, how do you draw inspiration for your character, Jack? Was it a part of yourself, or where do you get it from? Yeah, I think there's a lot of similarities. You know, Jack was a very, like, the reluctant Red Ranger. I don't think he really wanted to be there at first, but... Uh, the position was kind of thrust on him, kind of like the classic anti-hero. And then he kind of grew into the role. Um, and so, and then uh, he ultimately left, which I think kind of finished off the arc in a really, really nice, uh, nice way. But uh, his heart was always in the right place. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. I definitely agree with that. Brandon's character on SPD is definitely one of the only Rangers in history I ever saw just be like, hey man, I ain't really trying to be a Power Ranger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I got girls, I'm trying to get something to eat. I'll save the world today, but I'm not doing it tomorrow. All right, oh, we got the baby. Somebody help the baby with the microphone. What's your name? Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm from uh, Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver! <laughs> And my question for is for uh, Adam Tuminum. I noticed that you work with uh, Georgito Vargas Jr. and Power Rangers. What was, the mo what was the most valuable lesson that you learned from him? All right, well, it's a two-part answer. First of all, this is Jorge's son, everyone. Yeah. Sebastian. This is the Navy Ranger Woo! from Ninja Storm's son. And they do this every panel that I do. So uh, it was amazing. <laughs> He was an incredible actor, and we had a good, we had a good time because we were really good friends. So, uh, big love out to you, buddy. He's up the back. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah but what was the most oh, valuable He'll lesson? What was that? What was the most valuable lesson? Um, <laughs> oh, you go. You well, go I, answer I, that question. I, le I learned from his mistakes, basically. So, um, <laughs> when he would be late. I would realize you shouldn't be late. Otherwise, the producers will pull you in if you don't say sorry. Um, yeah, not to have a late night the night before <laughs> when you have to get up at five in the morning. Um, there was heaps. I could go on, um, but I won't. Uh, there's a couple there you can, you can uh, work with. 
<laughs> nice. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. This guy's crazy. I love it. Do me a favor. Who is who's the last person in line? Have them raise their hand. Right now, last person. Is that the uh, Purple Ranger? Purple is our final question. All right, cool. How you doing, buddy? Hello, my name is David. I'm from Sacramento. Sacktown. Yeah. And my question is for Mr. Lee. So Boom Studios has done a really wonderful job reviving and continuing these characters that have not had a lot of screen time for the past 10, 15 years. How, and with your character having a lot more to do in Shattered Grid recently, how do you, what do you feel, or how can I articulate this? Um, what do you think for the direction that Cal Higgins has made for all of your characters? But since I can only do one, Mr. Lee. Say that one more time. Who's this for? Is this for uh, Chris? Mr. Lee. Oh, Chris. All right. Give me the uh, clear question again. Yeah. So, um, so with um, Shattered Grid kind of reviving and furthering the development of your characters, how do you, what do you feel with um, another studio or another property taking the character you've worked so hard on and continuing it? How do you feel about Shattered Grid continuing your character? Yes. <clears throat> Shatter Grid, it's a comic oh, book oh, featuring the, all of the oh, Power Rangers. The, uh, oh, I thought, it, no, I thought he was saying a name, and I was just like, who the hell is he talking about? Um, no, how do I feel about the Shatter Grid, where they've, where they've taken Andros, and what they're doing and all that yeah, with like, him? Well, um, I don't know, I don't have any problem with this. I mean, I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm happy that, you know, he's in the comic, and every, I mean, hell, you guys like it, right? Yeah. There's your answer, it's great, we all love it. There you go. All right. Thank you for your time. Thanks for your question, <laughs> buddy. Uh, how you doing, man? What's your Hi. name? What's your question? Uh, Dan from Colorado. Colorado! <laughs> My question is for uh, Jason. With the ability to time travel, which era would you go to? Solid question. That is a good question. Oh, man, I don't know. I guess I would probably go back to prehistoric times. Right. I've always had a curiosity about the dinosaurs and what happened to them. So, me personally, I would probably go back and check out what happened then. All right, cool. Yep. Nice. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much, Maybe buddy. get eaten, too. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? What's your question? <laughs> My name's Alexis. I'm from Riverside, California. Riverside? <laughs> to uh, Adam, uh, when you came on to uh, Ninja Storm, uh, and you were, uh, and basically you're like a red, uh, red, a red uh, ranger, uh, to, uh, a red thunder ranger uh, to the, to Shane, uh, the red ninja storm ranger. Oh my and, uh, God. Red ninja. Oh, and the uh, red ranger. He came back. <laughs> He came back. This seems to be happening a lot through my questions. <laughs> it's like everyone was in here, so. <laughs> Most people are concerned that the Red Rangers are always the leader, but uh, with you uh, and uh, Shane uh, as uh, both Red Rangers, uh, do you feel like that only Shane, uh, that Shane is the Red Ranger, or do you feel like a co-leader to the team? Yeah, well, I think we did have an episode about that where the two of us had that awesome fight scene down on the beach uh, where we did the whole Total Trek thing to work out who should be the leader and I think what that moral out of that particular episode is no one's really a leader in these circumstances, everyone helps everyone so um, uh, for that it's, it's working together as a team is what Power Rangers is about you, know, you can't have a Power Rangers team without every colour that's in that team so I think really when it comes down to it yeah we're leaders but we all work together to get things done. I love it, thanks man, great question. Thank you. Uh oh, we got that final question. What's your name? I like name? your suit. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, my question is actually for the Dino Charge Ranger back there next to Dragonite. Dragonite might know what I'm talking about with somebody in the question, but the question is if you fought against an enemy who had the power of the dinosaurs, specifically Puto Terra, um, that's why I also mentioned Dragonite in this, because he probably knows who they are, um, what tactic would you attempt using to try and defeat the foe in front of you? Uh, I would probably get Sledge's net to cut on purpose and use the meteors to take out the dinosaur enemies. Um, <laughs> well, one thing I kind of forgot to mention is that Puto Terra has the ability to control the element of ice. The How element would you of deal ice? with that? Yeah, like they're able to breathe ice and the wings, if they use their standing charge, is powerful enough to free someone solid. Ooh, mm, well, like if you watch the beginning of Dino Charge, you know, like the Dino Charger goes into the volcano. So I would just like sit in Rexy inside the volcano, and then he'd have to come fight me in the volcano, and then it'd melt his ice. You thought you had him? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a but really you did not! Tactic. But I 
I'm not quite sure he might fall for that, but pretty good. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, might actually just work. Yeah, yeah. You can't beat the Power Rangers. No. Hey, also, just so you know, I'm, I'm doing a panel at 7 o'clock here, guys, uh, with Adi Shankar, who is the guy who produced the, uh, the um, uh, bootleg Power Ranger movie. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, if you want to come check it out, it's going to be pretty cool, man. So uh, we're going to talk Power Rangers. I think Johnny Youngboss is going to join us as well, too. So uh, come down and uh, check it out, 7 o'clock, all right? Listen, we don't call it the bootleg Power Ranger. Why not? He calls call it that. The his name, of his, name of his YouTube is Bootleg Universe. What else hey, are you going to call it? Speaking of which, I need a part two. We'll talk in the next panel. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to, number one, before I wish these amazing rangers off, you have to know that they each have booths, okay? They each have merchandise. They got pictures. They have trinkets. They're taking pictures. They're meeting you. I want you guys to go to their booths, make sure that you talk to them, shake their hand, but most importantly, support them by taking something home with you. Does that sound good? Question. Ladies and gentlemen, make noise for all of the Power Rangers Forever Red Panel! Oh, and I guess since I'm already in this suit, I'll be at my booth if you guys want photos there. So, like, I'll wear it for a little bit. 